welcome back to another weekly vlog so uh, it's monday it's nine o'clock at night and it was being an all right monday but we got back from the evening walk and luna's wound has come undone so i'm a little bit annoyed because we took her for a wound checkup today at 12 o'clock i took her to the vet she had a wound checkup and the vet literally said no swelling no infection the wound looked fine but the way the vet was like touching her like stitches like I wasn't too happy with but I'm not a vet anything like that I thought well she obviously knows what she's doing but like there was a little bit of a stitch on the top of her head sticking out and the, the woman was like pulling at it and like kind of saying oh I'm saying what type of stitch they use because she goes to like the basically long story short the vet that she goes to for the surgery is like a hospital and that's in Morbeth so that's like a half an hour away but we have like a little local one where she goes for our checkups our boosters all that type of thing so in any way she was like how can I wear it going I'm just saying what type of stitch they've used and it was she was like pulling it and I just it was making me feel uncomfortable Luna didn't screech on out so I'm like I'm presuming it wasn't painful but then obviously we've got back I mean, she was, um, like, we had the donuts and that on her because we've been told to keep them on her. But then we took them for a walk and the vet had said that we didn't have to put a cone on her when we are taking her for a walk. So we've took her for a walk and the stitches come undone. We've rang the emergency vet. I've sent them a photo. They've said that they don't think it's an emergency where we'll have to dash there tonight. So we've left it for tonight. She's got a cone on. We're going to have to keep the cone on overnight and she's going to the vets tomorrow to see what they can do but I just feel so frustrated about it I feel like it's a setback and she was doing so well the stitches looked absolutely fine and I just feel like was it the walk was it the vet how can it it was it just gonna happen anyway was it something we didn't say I just feel a bit annoyed about it to be honest I've been scrapbooking most of the night <laughs> I'm still really into it I'll show you my scrapbooks um in this vlog for sure I'll show you them more because I've progressed so much since I showed you two weeks ago I also this printer Sean had um I think it's his mum and dad so Carol and Terry sorry I've uh, been trying to use your printer but I have ordered some ink for it because I tried printing some photos today and it didn't work I just feel so ugly still <laughs> I said at the end of the last weekly vlog which was last week's weekly vlog that I was feeling really really ugly and I still feel that way Way. I just feel like I've pulled all the lashes out the hair's a mess I've got no tan on which always knocks me confident a bit I know it shouldn't but it does and I just feel a bit grim so I'm gonna have a pamper night I'm gonna have a bath do me tan exfoliate my face do a face mask do some skincare and just make myself feel better because I need to get up tomorrow and feel better I've got myself a green tea and then I have my shampoo and conditioner I do wash my hair in the bath but then I will rinse it in the shower just to make sure it's all out I have my razor because I want to shave I've got my FFS removal cream I've got this cleanser which is always just in the bath which I'll use as a first cleanser my body wash I'm currently using is this one um, I want to also do a little um, exfoliating because I just feel like I need it so I'm going to use the pixie peel and polish this mask I just found it in a door so I'm going to try this mask I'm out of the bath and I've dried my hair it's looking nice and shiny um, I'm just going to do my skincare my face is looking a little redder than usual but that is just because I have exfoliated which I don't usually do but when I do it does bring up a little bit of redness but I'm not worried about it because I know my skin and me will sort it out okay I'm going to keep it really simple tonight I'm just going to go in with a bit of the um, this brand Face YA Bright and Boost Serum I just like a serum because I feel like it does kind of brighten up my complexion. I've been neglecting my skincare a little bit over the last week. Just with Luna's up and everything. And with my eye cream, I love this stuff. It's just so good. Obviously, last but not least, I'm going in with my Skin and Me. If you haven't heard of Skin and Me, I have talked about them for quite a while on my channel because I've been using them since the beginning of the year and they've literally changed my life when it comes to me skin. Skin and Me is a personalised skincare brand. If you have issues with your skin, acne, 
acne scarring, redness, dryness, oily skin, seasonal flare-ups. They're just like a few of the things that I'm thinking at the top of my head. But any issues with your skin, Skin and Me could be the solution for you. It's a subscription-based skincare service that deliver at your door every single month. They're a personalised skincare brand that's made specifically for you. So no two formulas that are sent out are the same because you do a questionnaire online and you tell them a little bit about your skin, your skin goals, your skin needs, your skin wants, and they'll create a formula especially for you. But you're not having to wait the long, long wait time that we'll have to wait in the UK to see dermatologists. So not only is it really, really difficult to get appointments to get onto the waiting list, but it's also really, really expensive as well. Where Skin and Me is created by dermatologists but you're not having that long wait time and you still get reviews on your skin so if you find that the formula is not working for you you can speak to the skin and may team direct who will be able to help you maybe try a different formula and i think it's such a good brand and such a good service that was just missing from the skincare market for years and i absolutely love them and it's a sustainable brand this is the packaging it's very small very nifty handy for the handbag i get sent here every month in a little tube like this which you just twist once you hear the little click, that is the exact dosage that you need. So there's no wastage even when it gets in your hands because you just use what you need. Revolutionary, there's not one thing that I haven't thought of. So when I've spoke about them in the past, a few of you have asked, will your skin get worse before it gets better? And this can be the case. I did find one mine. It took about a week or two for my skin to adjust to the skincare simply because the ingredients that Skin and May use are such high quality ingredients that your skin might not be used to them. So it may take your skin a week or so to adjust to the ingredients. But honestly, wait it out. Like I was telling my manager, Melissa, because she's actually just ordered her Skin and May because she said she suffers with bad skin in the winter. And I was telling her, wait it out. I mean, if you're having severe, severe reactions, definitely stop using it. But if you are getting a little bit of stinging or tightness or redness, I would say that that's pretty normal. That's what happened to me. And then within a week or so, my skin was just like, okay, I actually quite like this stuff. And it just kind of sorted itself out. If you would like to try Skin and Me out for yourself, I can get you it for the first month for just £3.50, which is an absolutely amazing bargain considering it's usually £24.99. If you would like to try it for yourself, use the code DEMI11 and that will get you your first Skin and Me for just £3.50. It also is a perfect time to get it because if you are having any skin issues on the lead up to Christmas, it gives you a good time to try try it for £3.50, try your month and if you find it just didn't work for you then you can cancel your subscription at any time you're not tied in any contract or anything like that. I'll have the link in the description you can find out any more information about Skin and Me. Yeah thank you to Skin and Me for sponsoring this little segment of the video. Done my Skin and Me, I'm not gonna do, I usually do like an oil spray but I think I've run out. Anyway, that's going to be it for tonight. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I feel so bald. I think it's just because I've pulled all the lashes out and I've had them in for like months now so i just feel like really my eyes feel bald I haven't put tan on i know i said i was going to but i'm trying not to i just so the reason i was putting it on was because i'm filming a video tomorrow where i have to try on clothes and i was like i know i won't like the way i look if i'm really really pale but then i'm like you can't just tan all your life or can you maybe you can but i'm not going to put it on and i'm going to film the video tomorrow and I'm going to be pale and that's fine because it's just my skin colour so <laughs> I'm going to just try and do it because I just hate tanning and I seen Fabulous Hannah I was watching her vlog recently and she actually like doesn't tan now she only tans on really rare occasions and I'd love to be like that but I feel like I just rely on tan quite a bit so we're not going to tan my mind's telling me no but my body my body's telling me yeah Anyway, I'm not going to tan and I'm going to just get on my life because it's not the end of the world.
So okay guys, so I'm keeping all of my scrapbook supplies in this big box. Um, well, it's not the box, it's like the, what do you call it? Like the footstool that matches our sofa, but it, it only had um, like throws in it, like blankets. So I've put them somewhere else. So, oh God, just a pencil case with loads of stuff in. But isn't this the nicest pencil case ever? My pen pal Claire got us it years ago and I just love it so much. Anyway, any little scrap bits of paper or like pattern stuff I've been keeping. Um, but this box I've reused and it has like a few papers in that I've got. It's got a few like stickers in, like just different things that I've kind of collected for my scrapbooking is in here. This one, this little chest I actually got from B&M ages ago. I love it because it looks quite vintage. This has more stickers in, but like stickers on a like a what do you call it like a sheet and then it has all my tapes I've actually collected quite a lot of tapes so it has all my um pattern tapes and everything in so that's what's in here in this box I've got pens scissors colored papers you having a look Looney? this is photos that I've printed this is just some things that I've been sent over the years that I might scrapbook um because they've been like sitting in drawers and I thought well they'd be a better use of them so I'm just keeping them in here for now in case I think there's something to do with them I actually got this from a charity shop so it was like a vintage um perfumed wallet with um like lined envelopes and that in but I've cut it up because I have already used the pattern because I love the pattern on it I've already used it for something else so I'll show you the scrapbooks I've just got loads of random bits in here I got this um paper from hobby craft yesterday and I love it so much it's like vintage florals but I love them so yeah this is like a big one that I've also been using I have some big round paper which is just colored that I've like been using for different things you're right darling but I'll show you the scrapbooks that I've done. My little light that I usually have on top of my camera is charging. So I'm sorry if the brightness isn't as good as it usually is. <laughs> so this is the one that you've originally seen. This is my um, 2022 one. But as you can see, I've got a lot of spare pages because I estimated the pages wrong. So I feel like this is going to be 2022 and 2023. So inside of it, obviously, I showed you this um, when I first showed you my scrapbook two weeks ago. So this is like my January. Um, anyway, so this is my January. I've got three pages per month. So as you can see here, um, I've just got like Polaroids and then different printouts and patterns. And I didn't really have a theme when I was designing these pages. It was more so just whatever I felt like doing. Um, so yeah, that's my January. And then I have my February, February again. And then... A third February page and then we move on to March here yeah. so we've obviously got the holiday photos and then I have another March St Paddy's Day this is March where I surprised Sean for his birthday when we went to Aura with my friends and then my cousin India come up so this is March as you can see the patterns don't match or anything I literally just done what I wanted and then we have April so this is the beginning of April this is probably my favorite page in the scrapbook I'm not sure why I just really like the way that it turned out you've got like the day trip to see houses and then obviously some little party photos here so that's April and then this is also April just some photos of me and my mum Natalie Sean's um cupboard that he made in the garage and then obviously little Dolly do and then we'll have me so May was a busy month we had like my grand's birthday and everything so we've got me here me yeah and I didn't print enough photos for me so I kind of designed this page but I actually need to get photos and um, that's why I'm hoping if the printer works then I can get my May photos printed and finish this page so yeah that's me and then we'll move on to June which again was such a busy month because it was my birthday and then all the things that I had going on so this is um, my first page of June then we'll have June again we went away to Newton Hall then we went to Cambridgeshire as well so that is here yeah. Um, where my dad and trees and grandma came as well. You've got Father's Day, my birthday. Then we moved to July where I had my birthday party. As you can see, I've got photos of it here. And then this is also was July. I went on a hen do, a night out with mum, dad, Neil and Sean. I got my car. And then um, this was when my uncle came over from America. So it's a family photo. This is also July, just some bits and bobs that happened, some things. And then we have August. I went to Ireland in August, so I've got the Irish photos here. Um, me and my grandma went on a little day trip. And then these are just more photos from August, random bits and bobs. 
Um, and then this is obviously Corfu because we went to Corfu in August and I got these little Corfu stickers off um, eBay and I love them so much. I really want to start my travel scrapbook and I want to get stickers for like all the places we've been but I need to properly prepare that one. This is September as you can see I've started my autumnal theme um, but I really like this one. You've got me and Jess and then just um, when we all went for a meal for one of Sean's friend's birthdays. And then this is September as well. Just some bits of the dogs, the pups turned too. So I have that in here and then my show page. So as you can see here, I've got like pictures of the show, the set. I found this sticker in the range, which I really like. And then we'll move on to October. So this is October, I was filming for Channel 5. So I had that sticker, I went there. We went to Rothbury, the pups got their autumn jumpers. Um, again, this is October, just some photos of the family when we went out. And this is the last page in October where we had a night out for Sean's um, friend's 30th and then just some cute pictures of the pups. And then obviously I'll have three pages for November and three pages for December, but I'm still going to have quite a few left. So um, that is this scrapbook so i need to finish quite a few bits in this one which you've seen i started a one um which is just this little mini one my special people and i just this one is probably going to take us quite well to finish because i want to do um just like pictures of people um so i've started it already and i've started it with my dad because i found some old photos of my dad when he was little so i've done like dad and then again i didn't really have a theme when i was scrapbooking this one it was just because i wanted to stick stuff on a page um and then i'm gonna put little facts about people so that i've only literally done two pages and then this is dad again one brother paul that's him and his brother and that's my dad when he was little <laughs> people say i look like him i do actually look like him on there that is my face um but yeah so this is this and then i'm just gonna like this one's just gonna be photos and little things about obviously all my family and friends and that and there's 40 pages in this so this one's just a one that i'm gonna slowly do over time and then my favorite one which i've been working on this one and it's called just because it makes me happy so i felt like all my scrapbooks had a purpose where like i felt like i could only do it if i was doing it for something like the ones pictures with people and that but i wanted to just a scrapbook because i find it therapeutic so this one's my kind of like aesthetically pleasing just when i want a scrapbook but i don't really have any photos or anything printed this is actually my favorite one as of yet but this is what it looks like i did this with a stencil because my writing is not neat at all so i bought a stencil to help out um but this is literally just a one where i'm going to put nice quotes and each page is going to have a color theme or a theme of some sort so this one is my pink themed page um and it, the little quote is all we have is now which i really like so i've obviously used all my little pink supplies that i had and then we'll move on to the next page, which is my nude page. And it says, no one is you, that is your power. And I really like this one. I've got all my little nude and autumn themed stuff. Then we'll move on to my blue page, which is life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. And I got all of these. I got a lot of these off Sheen, The Range, um, Hobby Craft is where I've been getting my supplies. Um, and eBay, I got a few as well. But yeah, this is um, my blue page this page is kind of just a bit of a colorful page it says make peace with your past so it won't disturb your present um and it i started with this background paper here but then it just kind of went a bit colorful so this one's a bit of a mix match color and then this one is again back to pink but i made a little envelope um did anyone else do paper origami at school because i did anyway anyway i made a little envelope and in here i put my little my little thing and then I just put another little quote in it to you. Sometimes you won't know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. And then it just sits in the little envelope like that. And then you could see the little butterfly. And then this um, sticker has kind of got like stick tape on it. So it kind of holds it down. And I just think it's so cute. So that is my pink page. And then this page, I don't know. I really wanted to use this background. But then I didn't really know how to pair it with the other stuff. So... Um, I just did a few little quotes. It's very simple, but yeah, that is that page. This is my autumn page, which I love. These leaves are actually picked up when me, Sean, and the pups went on a walk, and I just really like them. Um, so it says, the world is so pretty, take time to look at it. And then I've got lots of nice little prints, and that's that paper that I showed you before. I used that two places on here. So yeah, this is my orange autumn themed page. Autumn's probably my favourite, like I just love it. <clears throat> then I did another blue one. It says, if you get tired, learn to rest, not to quit. I try to, like, just get creative, and this is on, like, a little paper, like, thing. 
Um, but yeah, this is another blue with hints of green. I just love it. And then my mom said, do a yellow page because I was texting her. So I did a yellow page and it says yellow is the happiest color. And then I've got all my little yellow bits and bobs that I could find in another leaf because it's a very yellow leaf. And then um, I wanted to do a green page. So this is my green page and it says green is nature's color, fresh. Um, and yeah, I just really like that. And then Sean said do a red page. So this is my red page. And yeah, I left it at that. But that is, this one's just for fun when I want a scrapbook but I don't have something that I want to do. This is what I've been doing because I really enjoy doing it. So yeah, that's what my scrapbooks are currently looking like. I'm really close to the camera. But I feel like I want to do another page before we go out. What time are we leaving? We've got half an hour-ish. Okay guys, so we're actually on the way back home now. We've had Luna at the vet. It's good news. Um, they've said that they don't need a staple or do anything to the wound, although it has opened. They're not worried about it. I don't know if you guys can see. There it is, but they're not worried about it. They said because our wound will actually just scab over itself. So um, yeah, after a few days it should just scab over. But I'm glad we've had it checked and it gives me that peace of mind um, that it is okay and everything like that. So yeah, good news after all, it's not. She doesn't have to go through any more trauma, bless her. But she's so depressed, like the donut in the little cone that she's just not loving her life right now. At this point, I've turned scrapbooking into me fucking personality trait, right? I'm absolutely obsessed, right? I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot stop. It's an addiction. That's not a bad one, can be expensive, but I've seen a girl. So if I'm not scrapbooking myself, I'm watching somebody on YouTube scrapbook to get ideas for my scrapbooks. And I've seen a girl on YouTube have an old reading book and she scrapbooked it and I was like that's a really good idea it's cheap it's effective I'm gonna go to charity shops and get some old books that I can scrapbook instead of spending a fortune on likes of um sheen and stuff to get old vintage pages when I could get them out of an old vintage book so I got I went to my local charity shop in hopes that I'd find some old vintage books I found this book which I feel like is quite old I really like the front cover I could scrapbook that but the pages are like yellow which is what I like I know it's like means that old but yeah so I can um scrapbook this book which if you're really into books and you're not happy with people cutting them up sorry because I will be cutting them up um but yeah I got this book then this one because look at that in there it's like this gorgeous print which I just really like so I could scrapbook that um, and then there's other prints throughout the book which I thought would be great to scrapbook these pages aren't as like yellowy they're not as scrapbookable but we'll see what I can do with them and then I found this, which I thought would be really good to scrapbook the photos in it. It's called Movie Mutt, Hollywood Goes to Dogs. But it's got like really like black and white, um, like vintage pictures of like dogs in Hollywood and like just some really nice pictures that I would like to use in my scrapbooks. So I picked up that. Then I just seen this big American um, magazine. It's like a big American, but it's got like nice photos of landscapes, like American photos like this. So I thought I'll pick that up to scrapbook as well. All of the books I got as well were only seven quid, which I think is really reasonable. And then I picked up another old book. I really like the front cover of this one. And again, the pages were like yellowy, which is how I would want them to be for scrapbooking. The best thing of all, which I found, which I cannot believe I got this, for three quid. It's The Sound of Music um, and it's their family scrapbook. But me and my granddad, Bill, before he passed, used to love The Sound of Music. So they've got like a little envelope on the front here, which I totally plan on taking out and reusing in a scrapbook. But look at some of these, like they've got some really good photos that I can cut up and stuff if I want. But then they've also got like memorabilia things in here. So they've got like little sheets of paper with like stuff written from the cast. They have things like this and there's loads in here. There's this little mini autograph book and it's got like written pages to the cast and stuff. This, which is so cute with like a written, it's like a written card. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, And they've got loads of stuff like this. Pan American um, like plane ticket from like must be the cast or something which I just thought what the hell and then there's also a copy of like a letter or dear Dave, daddy there's like a copy of like a letter or something and then there's like a sound of music cinema ticket and then there's like this poster I'm obsessed with this this is the best thing I could have got like I wouldn't have thought I would have got something this good 
So I'm absolutely buzzing with these. So these are all the books that I got that I'm going to scrapbook and design. And I also bought some big ass scrapbooks. I got these ones from the works because they're really big. This one with the white was six pound and the one with the brown was five pound because these ones are big and if I run out or if I just want to start a new one, I can do. But I'm absolutely buzzing. I've got some really good stuff, which I'm really excited about. I've avoided like filming all week and putting makeup on. This sounds so silly just because I felt like shit and I didn't like the way that I looked and because I pulled my lashes out. But I've put mascara on. I've put a little bit of makeup on and I actually feel all right. So I was just being an absolute... You know when you just have them moments where you really don't like the way that you look and I was relying on tan and I was like it's my tan, it's my tan, it's my tan but I really couldn't be asked to tan so I was in this like just this head fuck where I was like I want to look pretty, I want to feel good but I can't be asked to tan. I've put a bit of makeup on, I've straightened my hair, I've put some decent clothes on and I feel much better about myself so it's all in the mind and I filmed one video which is good. Um, I have another video I need to film but I'm going to do that one tomorrow because me and my brother are going to the cinema tonight. We're going to go and see that horror called Smile. I've heard mixed reviews about it but he asked us if I wanted to go so um, we're going to go and see that which will be nice. So I'm going to go and pick him up and then we're going to go there. But yeah this is the like decentest I've looked on this weekly vlog as of yet. I've just looked not great but I'm going to shut up about talking about how I look because I realise that's really annoying. It's not very good and I'm just having one of them few weeks where I just feel absolutely shit about myself but I need to just stop. Hey, hey, hey! It's Friday, Friday, getting down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Party and party, woo! Party and party, woo! Hi guys, it's Friday and I've had a very exciting delivery. Donut time package, which I'm very excited about because just a little FYI, my favourite sweet thing to eat is a donut. I love donuts. And it says, hey, it's World Vegan Month. To celebrate, here's our vegan indulgent six pack. Six pack for you to enjoy. We hope you love them. Love the team at Donut Time. And are you ready? <gasps> so we have a Lotus Biscuit, two. Jammy Dodger, two. I'm not sure what these are. Fudge and Brownie, two. <gasps> this is the one I would go for straight away. Which one would you use? So I am just jumping in to finalise and finish this weekly vlog. I'm finishing it a day early. I do usually finish them on the Sunday, the day they go live, but I'm finishing this one today, which is Saturday, because me and Sean are actually going to be driving for around six to seven hours tomorrow. We're going on a really exciting road trip, which is going to be part of next week's weekly vlog, but also part of another video as well, which I'm really, really, really excited for. I think it's just going to be amazing. And it is mine and Sean's 10 year anniversary next year, which is absolutely crazy. Hence why we're doing this trip, but it also fits in really nice to make a video so I'm really excited but I'm going to start packing and everything this afternoon and I want to include that as part of the going away weekly vlog. This makes more sense to me rather than include it on the end of this weekly vlog randomly I'd rather have it at the start of a going away weekly vlog. But yeah that's what I'm going to be doing this afternoon so I thought I would come on and end this video. I would just like to say a huge thank you to Skin and Me for sponsoring a segment in this video. If you would like to check them out I will have the link to Skin and Me in the description below. But also I am going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this one. Obviously I have been doing like PR package giveaways and I love saying you all receive them and tag us and even just send us a message to say you received them. I love 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 it. I am going to be giving away two items in this video. So the winners will get this which is a Pixie by Petra palette. It's a contour palette so you've got some highlighters and bronzers I love pixie makeup and this is really good because I actually have it um that I use but I just felt like I'm never going to use up my one so I might as well give this one away and you will also receive the Huda Beauty um eyeshadow palette but it's just not a one that I've ever reached for so I feel like I would rather give it to somebody who would get use of the colours. It's very like, there's a lot of nudes and basic colours in there. But then there's also some pretty like glitter colours and everything. Um, So yeah, I have lost the plastic seal that kind of goes on the top of it. But it hasn't been used or swatched or anything like that. So they're the two things that you will win. It'll be posted at the end of next week when we get back from our little trip. So it will be a little bit of delay in the posting of them. But if you would like to win these, leave a comment below that makes sense. And 
and that is relevant to the video but includes the yellow heart emoji so yeah that is the items that you will win without further out of tata i would just like to thank you so much for clicking on another weekly vlog let us know if you would like to see scrapbook updates on the weekly vlogs because i'm scrapbooking a hell of a lot these days it's so therapeutic and i absolutely love it so if it's something that you want us to continue to include in the weekly vlogs let us know or if it's not a little bit of you also let me know but without further out of tata i'm gonna let you go and i'll see you very shortly for another one bye